Hello, and welcome to a Momo Monday here on Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're into the Monday, October 9th, 2023 crosswords. Go for that 1319 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Monday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, oh, James Cameron, Lemon, no. Is there, this is a wonk, so it's not James Cameron. Up end, is it finally up end? Oh man, I have to play connections, I guess. Nightlife cards, golf, extracurriculars. Uh, don't know it. Repay though, it's the system. These are omens, Cameron Crow. Loose end, split end, dead end, etc. Banks, those all have banks. Clubs. Okay, we've got a connections themed mini. A couple of people asked, I think, if I play connections. I do actually play connections. Um, I could do it on video. I, think, I don't know if I'll already play it today or not, but nightlife, club cards, golf club, extracurricular club, loose end, split end, dead end, bookends. You've got Tyra Banks. The bank is in the finance sense, a snow bank and a river bank. Yeah. It's sort of like, uh, you know, BBC's only connect, except it's a bit easier. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Monday Daily Grid, which is by Zachary David Levy today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's, uh, let's see what Zachary David Levy has in store for us. Let's get into it. Daddy's daddy is grandpa, GPA, rim, a la, this is mescal. Uh, a place for a cool dip, per annum. This is AKA and amid, minor snafu. This is ilial or iliac. This goes, it's Queen Donna summer, right? And that's kilo. Baseball hit that barely clears the infield and it's freezing, burr. They're doing a crossword every morning for many. It's a ritual. Make noises. This is Russell. Lucy Lou. Pile on. Amazon Basin. These are overtimes. These are bloops. Isle of Man. Grime, maybe? Hang out. Mishap. That's nice. Hand bone. Is a metacarpal. These are beetles. This is a pool. Ikea. IVs. Kin and Ella Fitzgerald, kitchen gadget. This is yum. Yeah. Ulna. This is askew. This is a rake. This is aw. You is seed and wed. Lifestyle that eschews clothing. This is nudism and nada, followed with buy. This is depots. These are MDs. Each is superior man is the Ubermensch. Contemptuous sort in modern parlance. Maybe it's a hater. Facts are facts. Interferes with. This is uh, tampers with. Oyster's gem is a pearl. This is ESP and Alp. Apple peeler. Apps. Dog can display in a professional's office a diploma. This is Anison. Many new venture in Silicon Valley. Tech startup. I see. Emery board. This is a motel, a lynx, and a hex. This is set and abided by. We've got wed and I do. These are taco. Sports results are scores. Um, TNT, use, and pod. Rested, cave, and even so was hater in the end there. I've got a bunch of phrases that start with uh, tech companies. Amazon, Meta, Apple, and Uber. So, uh, I guess Fang Moolah is outdated. <laughs> Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google. Gosh, what's the M? I, uh, I guess M is Microsoft, Uber, Lyft, and Airbnb. These are pretty big, I guess. You know, where's the alphabet soup? I guess, you know, Google is now also alphabet. Alphabet soup would be 13 letters or something. 
yeah, nice, uh, nice revealer. I think the revealer here helps tech startup. It's very apt. Amazon Basin, Metacarpal, Apple Pillar, and Ubermensch. Nice, nice theme set. Pretty good Monday, I think, you know? You can do the puzzle pretty quick, and then the theme is pretty straightforward, but well, well constructed. Let's, uh, let's look through this thing. See what we can learn, if anything. Anything interesting? Isle of Man, that's in the UK. Yeah, pretty clean. I did see the wed I do thing. I make a nice wedding crossword. <laughs> if you have uh, a couple that's worked at Amazon, Meta, Apple, and Uber. Yeah, nice Z here. And a skull and Amazon basin. Kind of like the word mishap also. Ella Fitzgerald is a classic. We've got apps crossing Apple. Include as iOS downloads also. Sort of a. We've also got two bones in here. You gotta know your bones. You gotta know those two bones specifically if you're gonna do. If you're gonna do crosswords. Yeah, it's a nice Monday. I'm not a hater. It's a nice Monday. And it'll be pretty normal time for a Monday these days. Aim for about two minutes. It's about what it was. Let's uh let's move on to the plus word. Got Momo watching us there from the corner. She'd like to see a plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus word's free to play. This is Jared Leto crossing Joust, I believe. Musical drama is an opera. This is unhappy. Maybe it's upset. Tennis shot or piece of cake is a slice. They're tense. So we got apple in this one also. Just uh, solid, I think. Quick little plus word. Yeah, we have apple. Just like we had in the, in the, uh, the crossword. We had elect in the crossword. <laughs> choice of Jared. Not too British today, not too British. But why don't we uh why don't we do some plus words also? Sorry, some some code words. I never know the best way to, <laughs> to get there, but I didn't do it yesterday. I could do it today. Let's start with the, the tough. I just want to make sure that you can see everything here. You need to be able to see this this column of uh unused letters, I think, in order to make this reasonable. This is going to be the E, I think, right? Double means that it's either an O or an E. I guess it could be an L, but it's not going to end KL. This has got to be a vowel, I think. This could be like an R, maybe? Or an N. Hmm. If it's an R, what is this? Turkey? It's not the craziest study I've ever had. Okay, let's uh let's try to find some more vowels here. And let's just put in an R. Get delete it later. Let's see if that helps. Interesting. Blanky e blank. Can't be that many things. Peep maybe. Hmm. Deed. I guess this is a vowel. I think this is likely the A from this. Could be like a far or a jar. Can't be the. I can't. No, I guess it could be odor. Ah, but we have E blank here. Should we try a U here? I I don't I don't see this ever as a as an O.
Unless this is an N, I guess. Mm -hmm. This looks like the O, I would say, given that it's doubled. Ah, oh, but E O. Ah, oh, it could be. I'm still not so sure. I could have lots of mistakes here. Ah, uh, it could be Leapfrog, though. That agrees with my peep guess from earlier. Olive oil. There we go. Sprawl. Surely. Foster. It was turkey in the end. Workshop. Let's see. Rosebush. Cobalt. Here's our Q. Equipage. And... Jacquard advert, like an advertisement. This is parent. Let's see. Zoom. And where's our X? Taxi. There we go. Kind of slow, actually. Well, right on average, apparently, but took a little bit of time to get into that. I don't think I actually said anything wrong. I guessed turkey and peep, but didn't quite have enough confidence there. Let's, uh, let's do the code words regular now which can sometimes take longer, I think. So says David C. Duncan Decker, anyway. Maybe this is a better view. Okay. This could be like an I, maybe? This seems like a vowel. This could be area. That, I think that looks pretty good, honestly. Could be like reflex. Hmm. Let's try it, maybe. I'm not married to the idea, but... Safari, I think. This could be like... A P, I guess. Sprite or something? What is this? Um... Hmm. We G no Queen B Queen B looks pretty good. Befriend. Alright, that's good. Where is the next place to look? Fire something. I guess this is probably stride. Tights. Gift wrap. Fire something. This is escape. Playback. Probably jacket, I guess. Polymath, nice word. Judo, looks okay. For jacket there. Oxen, no, oven. And zephyr, nice word. It means wind or something, right? But quite a common word on the code words. Because code words need to be pangrams, you know? Q, Z's, and the X's and the J's tend to repeat pretty often. Yeah, polymath is a nice word. Nice collection of puzzles. Uh, Megastar. I was looking at that earlier, trying to figure out what it was. Um, did I do the connections? It's a, it's a Sunday evening here. Why don't we try connections? Uh, I did, in fact, do this one. So, it would be... <laughs> uh, deceitful. To do it again, maybe. What I like to try to do is actually, I like to try to figure out all four of, four of them before, um, and then try to get them in reverse order of difficulty. Easiest first. So try to get yellow, green, blue, purple as an extra wrinkle. Oh, you know, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just do it. Uh, maybe some of you aren't so familiar with it. But basically you want to put them in four groups of four, create four groups of four, it says right there. And I know one of these is party. Think birthday party, wedding party. Is that right? Okay. I know the one I found first was uh, four words referring to cell phone reception. Reception bar service signal. That, that was a blue or something, right? That was green. And then, uh, oh yeah, opera. Met opera, soap opera, rock opera and uh, comic opera. Then we had birthday party, wedding party, anniversary party. 
No? Is that right? And a shower's a kind of party? And then, ah. Reading, Sandwich, Derby, and Bath are all towns in England. I do think it's worth figuring them out before putting them in, but... Alright, maybe maybe I'll, I'll try to do these on, on video. I haven't been doing them every day, just uh, occasionally, but could do it every day. Anyway, thanks for watching this Momo Monday. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Tuesday puzzles. See you then.